Gethsemane's pipe organ. The organ was built by the Reuter Organ Company of Lawrence, Kansas, and installed in 1964, when our current building was not quite two years old. The organ was a gift to the congregation from member Arnold Ryden, shown here with his mother at the dedication. The organ contains 1,891 pipes, ranging from the size of a pencil to some nearly a foot wide and 16 feet tall. Each rank or row of pipes makes a distinct sound. Some sound like trumpets. Others sound like flutes. And still others sound like the lush strings of an orchestra. Gethsemane's organ was never fully completed. When it was installed, preparations were made to complete it with a fuller tonal spectrum. Gethsemane's longtime organist, Joan Elander, had knowledge of the plans, but when she and her husband were killed in a tragic hit and run one summer evening, those plans died with her. In 2017, our organ technicians, Grandall and Ingen, refurbished the console, updating it with the latest technology and wiring, and drew up new plans to complete the tonal spectrum. Presently, there is no timeline for adding any additional voices to the organ, but work has been scheduled on the wind chests, which are beginning to show their 55-year-old age. The first piece I'd like to play for you today is The Jig Few by Dietrich Buxtehude. Buxtehude lived from 1637 to 1707. When a young man named Johann Sebastian Bach came on the scene, he quickly became a follower of Buxtehude's style and learned significantly from him. A fugue, like you're about to hear, is similar to a canon. Perhaps you've sung, row, row, row your boat, where one voice enters and another voice follows some measures later? Well, a fugue is similarly constructed, but each succeeding voice enters a fifth higher or lower than the previous one. The result is a web of overlapping voices. I hope you'll enjoy the Jig Fugue by Dietrich Buxtehude.
sometime early in the reign of King George I of England, Charles Clay built a most ingenious mechanical device which contained bells and a miniature pipe organ. It was called a flute clock. It is ev evident that this machine created quite a sensation in London, and no less a person than George Frederick Handel, who composed The Messiah, wrote and arranged at least one and probably two sets of tunes for it. These are two selections from the suite for a musical clock by Handel. Our last piece comes from the Balboa Park Suite by Michael Burkhardt. San Diego, California is home to the world's largest outdoor pipe organ, which resides in a pavilion in Balboa Park. It's a huge tourist attraction year-round with their beautiful weather. Michael Burkhardt, formerly the music director at Westwood Lutheran Church in St. Louis Park, was commissioned by friends of the Balboa Park organ to write this suite that is a celebration of many peoples. Included are arrangements of the Shaker melody, Simple Gifts, two Korean folk melodies, a Puerto Rican carol, and a festival march incorporating the Battle Hymn of the Republic and the popular tune, Lift Every Voice and Sing. In the festival march, listen to how these two powerful melodies are woven together, indeed, into a celebration of many peoples.